I was thinking that what we need this year is a sense of purpose, a, a noble project to help us rise above our own sorrows and honour the memory of our son. I recently heard a lovely story of Christmas redemption, and thus do I seek a soul to save. The only question is, whose soul? I can't believe it. I simply cannot believe it. The man literally has no soul. <laughs> He's a monster. What up, lady? Who's a monster? Mr Green. Green? Kate, what about him? What about him? He's a heartless swine and a sanctimonious hypocrite. That's what. Many a time and oft have we heard his claims to piety and a Christian conscience, and I am here to tell you that it's all utter... utter... Well, if I am to say what his claims to piety are, then in order to spare my maidenly blushes, I must needs do as you do, Mr Shakespeare, and resort to linguistical poncing toggling. <laughs> God, really, must you? Yeah, this could take a while. I'll get more ale. <clears throat> Intrigued am I, Kate. If what you wish to say of Green's claims to piety be indeed too coarse a thought for a delicate maid to utter, then by all means must you resort to linguistical poncing toggling. But in that case, his claims to piety are what a bull leaves behind him, hot and steaming in a field, <laughs> but which be not a deeply satisfied cow. <laughs> I kind of feel in this case that the linguistical poncing toggling might actually feel a bit ruder than the phrase you're trying to toggle your way out of. You, you mean he's talking bullshit? Yes! <laughs> he claims the moral high ground, and yet when I asked him for monies for the poor at Christmas, he said they'd be better to die and decrease the surplus population. Oh, that is grim. I even heard him muttering that love was worthless. What? That's just potty. Love is the very reason to be alive, particularly at Christmas. Exactly. And for all I despise Mr Green for being a heartless brute and for talking a lot of hypocritical, sanctimonious, what a bull leaves behind him, hot and steaming in a field, but which we're not a deeply satisfied cow. <laughs> I actually feel sorry for him. Me too, sort of. I mean, terrible to be without love at Christmas. He's rich and powerful, and yet his bitter heart and dead, empty soul make him poor indeed. You're right, it is sad, but I can't worry about him now. I'm, I'm trying to find a dead, empty soul to save. <laughs> so, so that through such a redemption, I may make some peace with my own sad loss. Hang on. <laughs> Hang the fuck on. <laughs>